Welcome to our first ever Corporate Reporting Insights. Yes, over the end of year break, accounting news have pivoted to Corporate Reporting Insights to reflect the changes in financial reporting, which now also includes ESG and sustainability reporting, and the increasing role of finance teams. We also have two other new initiatives at BDO. First of all, we've launched a new IFRS resources section on our website, where we've grouped together our accounting newsletters, training materials, um, IFREC decisions, um, frequently asked questions, uh, global publications on a topic by topic basis to make it much easier for you to find what you're looking for. Another new initiative is the new monthly ESG and sustainability webinars. As you know, previously we've had IFRS and corporate reporting webinars on a monthly basis, but now we've also added a series of webinars around ESG and sustainability reporting. Please register for those. Back to corporate reporting insights. So in this month's edition, we've got a number of Australian developments. First of all, businesses should reconsider the appropriateness of their employee benefit provisions based on the two latest and most recent High Court decisions. Secondly, impairment remains a top priority or the top priority for ASIC financial reporting surveillance with operating and financial review coming a close second. If we look at sustainability, um, we've included an article which is an 31 December 2021 update, as well as an article on the top five priorities for audit committees in 2022. And then a very interesting article, what are the 10 questions boards and audit committees should know the answer to? and a big emphasis on sustainability, of course. For not-for-profits, we've got two articles. <coughs> Both relate to the latest proposals by the AASB. Now, not-for-profits or private sector not-for-profit entities will be happy to hear that the AASB is proposing to, rate, to retain on an ongoing basis uh, the ability to reflect right-of-use assets at cost um, if they relate to peppercorn leases, if they relate to peppercorn leases. And the other article, the AASB, proposes um, some clarifications around the revenue and income recognition. A few other articles, the ISB have issued an amending standard on transitioning to IFRS 17 um, insurance contracts. And then also, if you are adopting or moving to simplify disclosures under AASB 1060, a reminder that you only have to disclose material accounting policies. So we hope you enjoy the first edition of Corporate Reporting Insights.